Hello. Uh, okay, if you will please indulge me, I'd like to take you off on a brief little tangent before I put out this week's episode proper. Because I have somewhat of an exciting reveal. And I say reveal, but of course if you follow me or Sean Tompkin on Twitter, then you may well already have seen this. Plus this also came out last week and I've been still on the uptake, but still, if you haven't seen this, strap yourselves in. This here is a piece of art, one of the final pieces of art in fact, that will be in the Ironsworn Starforge rulebook by the extraordinarily talented Joshua Meehan. It depicts a strange planet with plumes of fungal growth sprouting out here and there. In the background a large, what seems to be military or industrial facility looms on the horizon. And down here, in the bottom left, three figures are locked in an animated discussion. Yes. I am pleased to announce that Archer, Luna and Griff are going to be featured in the final Ironsworn Starforge rulebook. This page is going to lay out the rules on how to resolve player conflict and Sean and Joshua reached out to me about including them here and I can't think of a better place for them. As you can see, Luna is clearly arguing for a reckless, full-on assault of this heavily armoured compound, whilst Archer is close to having an aneurysm at the very thought. Whilst down here... Griff is wondering what's taking so long, and can he just go back to the Eclipse, please? I think Joshua has done an absolutely amazing job of capturing the group dynamic, and I am incredibly humbled and incredibly honoured that he and Sean offered to include these idiots in the book, and I am absolutely blown away by it. And also, this isn't the only place they'll appear in the final rulebook, but I'll let you discover what that means when you have the physical thing in your hands or the PDF in front of you and I'm pretty excited for that too. Anyway, like I said, you may have already seen this on Twitter last week, but I want to use this little video to point out some sweet, sweet little Easter eggs. If you look closely here, you'll see that Archer has a logo on the back of his jacket, and that is this, the logo of the Griffin Institute. And once again, Joshua is absolutely killing it here with his logo game. And speaking of logos, if you look up here on what appears to be this gun emplacement, well, that just so happens to be the sigil for Clan Thorn, the primary antagonists of our story. Simple design, effectively realised. And finally, I feel it would be remiss of me not to give Griff his hero moment. So here he is in all his caterpillar tracked, one eyed toaster glory. I love this interpretation of Griff so much. And now I can definitely say, Griff is canon. Now, once again, as I said when I did my fantasy movie casting, this is just one person's interpretation of these characters in this world. Whatever lives in your head when you envision it is what it is. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Anyway, I've got to get back to this week's episode because it is already late. So farewell and safe passage. <laughs>